started going in his younger years Always wished it would be his life Good morning guys Boats, they're, uh, they're interesting. They're fun until they're not. Uh, just when you think you have everything fixed and you're ready to enjoy the summer, something else decides to break. So uh, today we have the funnest job on the boat. Let me show you. So as you can see, there's the bathroom. And we don't have a toilet. What's going on? The, uh, the toilet, the shitter broke. So, I went and quickly ordered a new shitter, and you wouldn't believe, you know, for an electric head, $800 Canadian. So, I thought it would be a simple um, plug and play, but no. You've got, so you can see here, we've got one, two, uh, three four bolt holes to hold the um, the old toilet in well of course the new toilet only has three so that's different and uh, you can see I guess when they put these uh, bolts in they silicone them to the, uh, the top of the fiberglass there so they don't fall out well this one has fallen out and this one is on its way to fall out when it's all said and done, I'm going to have one extra hole anyways. So to get the, uh, the bolt out and to put the new bolts in, you've got to cut into the fiberglass mold so that you can get your hands in there to facilitate that. So of course, what that means is this is going to have to be fiberglassed again. And I don't want to leave an extra hole in here because the concern is if water does get uh, in there, well, where does it go? I don't believe there's a drain out of there because it was supposed to be sealed from the uh, factory. So, so it looks like I'm going to have to fiberglass again. I thought I was done with fiberglassing. So, anyways, the uh, plan is... I'm going to just put some fiberglass, uh, a couple layers of cloth over top of this to clean it up. Then I'm going to set the new toilet on top, uh, mark the holes, drill them out. Then I'm going to get the bolts uh, through this hole I've cut. I'm going to uh, silicone the bolts to the ceiling of the, uh, the mold there. So they pop through and stay, and then hook everything back up, and hopefully we have a brand new shitter that works. What a pain in the ass. Okay, so here's my setup here. I'm doing all the work right in the bathroom so I don't have any spillage anywhere else. I've put some uh, papers down on the floor. I've cut out three sheets of uh, fiberglass mat probably only need two but we'll see how that goes um my cup i'm using west systems again so the 105 epoxy resin with the uh, 205 hardener it's just one pump to one pump i'm gonna mix it in my cup spread it onto the mat and then just lay it down i've um, scuffed up the surface there with some sandpaper and uh, yeah, it's pretty basic. Just going to lay a, a piece of the mat down, wet it out, and uh, lay another one, wet it out, and uh, keep going until we're done. Okay, so I've sanded my um, fiberglass patch down, and then I ground uh, around the edges of it just to smooth it uh, out a little bit. Um, now what I'm gonna do it is the head, so it doesn't need to be perfect, but it's a big enough patch that I am going to ferret. Um, I'm gonna ferret, then I'm gonna sand it down, I'm gonna paint it, and then I'm gonna drill my holes to put the toilet in. So of course for the fairing, I'm back to West Systems 410 fairing filler, just mixing this with the uh, West System uh, stuff. There's my cup. 
So that's the next step. I'm just going to mix up a little batch of fairing, uh, put it on there, clean it up, and then tomorrow we'll be sanding and uh, hopefully installing the, uh, the toilet. All right, so here's the consistency. That'll do nicely. I just want to pour it on and then be able to move it around. I might have too much mixed up. Well, there you go. And the idea here is I just want to blend it so that all the edges are going to be blended into the, uh, the mold here and I don't have much room to work with. So I just keep moving it like drywall mud. Okay, so we're all set up here. It's all cured. Um, it's kind of leveled itself out overnight. Um, so now I just need to sand the edges so it's a nice smooth transition, clean it up a bit, and it'll be ready for paint and drilling holes and mounting the toilet. Okay, so you can see I've sanded it all down. It doesn't look perfect yet. It's uh, not supposed to be at this point. You're just supposed to try and smooth it out, blend it into the existing fiberglass. Now let's not kid ourselves here. This is a head, very tight confines. It's the base of the toilet. I don't think anyone's going to be looking here to give me style points. Um, I'm also under a tight deadline here, so uh, what I'm looking at doing is just getting this put back together where it's looking decent. Um, I'm going to use some leftover uh, Interlux Bright Side Polyurethane Top uh, Coat Paint that I used for the, uh, the foredeck when I did that. Uh, it's off-white. This stuff is off-white. I don't know if it's going to match perfectly, but again, it's your shitter. I, I really don't care. I just want to clean it up and uh, get it looking uh, halfway decent. So uh, here we go. Look at that. Some things do go smoothly. That paint matched really, really well. I didn't even have to paint all of it. Um, it blend good enough. So there's the paint over the uh, fiberglass fix. So I'm just gonna let that dry. And then it's drilling three holes and uh, putting the toilet in. That's coming out real nice. Okay, so the paint has uh, dried and I've marked my three spots for the holes on the uh, toilet base. Simple as drilling them out. Okay, so I'm just using some DAP uh, silicone caulking, which is good for indoor, outdoor, waterproof. I'm just putting it around the bolts because the bolts have to go up from underneath and the uh, siliconing them to the, the mold will help them uh, say stay stuck. So that's why I'm doing that. So I've got the base of the toilet bolted down, so that worked out perfectly. And of course, it's always an issue. So on the new pump, you've got the inlet right there and the outlet there for one inch pipes or one inch hoses. So of course, this one is a one inch hose, so I've connected that one. This one, of course, isn't a one inch hose. So, of course, it can't be ever simple. So what I went and did was I got an adapter and then I just cut a piece of one inch hose. So now that will just connect into here and this side will connect into, uh, into there. So that should solve that problem. And then the wires are just simple enough, black to black, red to red and then I bolt the actual toilet to the base and we're good to go. Okay, so I've got all the hose clamps on, all the hoses uh, connected, uh, the power connected, red to red, black to black, and here we go. Let's see if this works. Okay, so we're getting power. We're not getting water. So let's see what that's all about. Okay, so I figured out what the problem was. Um, 
it didn't have any water in it. So I took a cup of water, put it in the toilet, and now everything works. Oh, I cannot tell you how happy I am. It's another project done. So that's another project, that's the head. That was quite intensive. Um, I think rather than fiberglass that in, I think I'm just gonna build a patch and kind of screw it in and silicone around it so that I can take it on and off if there's ever any problems where I need to retrieve a bolt or something like that. But no, I'm happy with that. That was relatively easy and obviously very important. So especially for this weekend. So uh, yeah, there's another project done.